friends, it's Joanne. How are you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by to see me. This is going to be a layout for Confessions of a Paper Edit Cut File Shop. And I am using absolutely gorgeous cut file, the new floral. I put a picture of it at the beginning of the video in case you want to grab it. I made two kind of small you can make these really big if you want to and do a whole bunch of them on your page and you can take the middles out and back them with pattern paper if you wanted to but I decided to leave the middles intact and I painted them so this is an awesome alternative to backing a cut file is to paint them so don't forget that you can use them that way and also you can also keep your cut files plain white and they look gorgeous on your background so let me put this up close can you see that super pretty blue and I painted the leaves and I did it really messy and I wasn't careful at all I just painted it on a napkin off to the side so I did two of them and today we are going to use this oh my god look at this collection summer by Cartabello Echo Park had a huge like warehouse sale so I was able to pick this up look at those papers oh my goodness they didn't have anything in them about ice cream because oh my god I'm in love Sorry about the glare. Look at this photo. Oh my God, she's eating ice cream. She looks so beautiful. And she's got like 12 bracelets on, earrings, her little bow, and a little outfit. And the reason why I didn't want to back these, I wanted to keep them white and paint them, is because look how perfect is that. I love it. So let me put that to the side for a second so we don't ruin them. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take two border strips. I used We Are Memory Keepers, this one, in case you want. I picked that up at scrapbook.com. I don't know if they still have it, but I'm sure it can be found somewhere. And it just comes out like that. I was trying to use different borders because I keep using the same one all the time because I love it. So let's get decorating this I just took a little strip of paper 12 inches and it doesn't matter how big it is this way because you're gonna punch it and then just cut it and this is 4 by 12 so I'm going to put a border on each one of this just to bring in some pink with all the blues that I'm going to be using okay so let's go ahead and get this adhered down So look at that isn't that beautiful just super simple just like that couple pieces of paper gorgeous this would be a pretty base page too if you wanted to do a whole bunch of these and use up your scraps or anything all right this is just a piece of basil um, coconut swirl background that's my favorite and let's keep decorating uh, this is going to be a super fun super easy layout I want to figure out where I want to put this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck these under the photo just a little bit. We'll try to get some placement. I want to be able to see the borders. So it's, I'm not sure exactly where I want that yet. And then I'm going to put another one over here. So I'm going to go in. No, I want to do it like this. Let's change that up so I can have the leaves on the photo on the side there. How pretty is that? And then have these ones coming over here. Like so, if it would stop sticking to me, I could show you. All right, so we're gonna do that. And I like to have things tucked up right against the photo. And these flowers do have center. They're circle pieces that you could use. So I could have taken those circles and painted them yellow and had um, put them back in the middle say like on a foam square or something, but we're gonna do something different with that All right, so then what shall we do? Let's decorate some I'm going to take this tag it's super pretty right? It's from a cut apart sheet from the collection. I'm just gonna tuck it in And I want to make sure I can see that word that says love So I'll place that something like that Okay, and I didn't want to do anything in that so I made a bow instead in this really pretty blue twine and I'm just gonna put that right there I had this title from a piece of bramble fox says everyday matters 
and it does. So I was thinking about maybe something down here. I don't want to cover up too much of the ice cream so we know that that's what she's doing and what she's looking at. Something like that. Then I wanted to come in. This is a chipboard frame from the collection. All I do is I put ATG on the back of the chipboard and then I put a piece of tool down and then I use those foam strips. You could get those from Amazon or I get mine from scrapbook.com. I think I got them for free with an order once. So I'm gonna put a little sequin shaker right here, I think, because I think this layout needs a little bling bling. Do that, and I'm contemplating putting this right over there. I wanna bring in some more pink for this, this, and in here. These are the sequins that I picked out from Shimmers. Aren't they gonna go perfect? put them in there and I also this is one of my um, sequin holders jeez I can't talk I wanted to put some white in there too I might sprinkle those all around the layout with some glossy accents we'll have to wait and see and I also have these butterflies I made from a pink fresh stamp stencil die set really pretty okay so there's that let's maybe put some butterflies down where do I want these to go? Look, see this empty space right there? It might look good to put a butterfly in there. Let's see which one we want. I like to bend them up like this. Maybe put that there. And then, oh, here's another one. Let's put one right there, I think. Maybe. I always have such a hard time with my butterfly placement. Oh, I think I like that better. I might put little gems inside the butterflies too. That would be pretty. And then, so I think it would be best to put the flower down first because I want it to go underneath. So I don't want to adhere my photo down and then not be able to slide the flowers underneath it. So thinking is it came with adhesive brads aren't they pretty these are huge but they're perfect for this I think and I don't know if I'm gonna need to use extra glue in there nope good adhesive all good I'll put two blue ones and then I'll take a white one and put it here they're kind of big but the middle of this flowers flower really calls for that to be big sometimes I'll put the sequins in and then back it with a piece of acetate but I don't think we really need to do that this time so I'm going to get my sequins out and my little sequin scoop from Nouveau there's a square side and a circle side and hopefully not spill and just put them right there just a couple there and then put my top back on for my clumsy self then I'm going to take some of these and then I'll hover the frame over the sequence to see if it's good placement and also if there is enough sequence in there or if we need to take away or add so let's see well I think we could do one more scoop I like my sequin shakers to be full I really do because then when you shake them the sequins are everywhere instead of just in one little spot so we'll take the back off from this and I absolutely do not trust this adhesive with sequins so what I will do is take my glue and just put a thin strip of glue all the way around 
on top of the foam strips just a little bit you don't need a ton of glue because it works very well and you don't want to get your paper like all soggy either oh see I told you I was a klutz My craft room is a disaster right now, and if you've seen any of my videos, you know how, like, neat freak I am. I, I just can't. I can't pick it up right now. I'm too busy. <laughs> I got a scrapbook. All right, so then I'll hover. Okay, and I want to make sure this is straight. And then I'm going to press down. And because this is tool and not acetate, I can do that and just press it, Okay. And then I think I'm just going to keep my finger there for a couple more seconds. Press down everywhere. And the key with sequin shakers is leave them alone. Just don't touch them for a while, like five, ten minutes at least. So then the glue can adhere. Okay, guys, I don't know what I want to do here. Only thing I did was put a little sticker there that says Berry Sweet. I found a couple sentiments in the sticker book and one says you are the sweetest which is cute because she's eating ice cream and then this one says summer sweetness which also is super cute because I was thinking about putting them there so let's go ahead and do that. I just think that there's an empty spot right there that those could fill nicely. I have to take the top off that don't I? So I'm going to put some glue only because my hands are sticky and it's super hot i want to make sure that everything sticks down nicely so let me put some glue on this as well i am a disaster today okay i should probably put this on the right way right not upside down that wouldn't look very good now would it okay and then here's this one and I think we'll put this right there just to fill that little gap and then we'll extend the title down like that. I have to get this in here. Maybe I'll take this one out, put that back in the circle book and then we can slide in the ice cream one. And it's pink. Let's put it in between here. See, I can't make a decision today for nothing. All right, I can't believe I found a sticker that said ice cream. Isn't that perfect? All right, I'm not sure about this. Let's see if we can peel that up and maybe put it in here. Ooh, I like that. Let's put it up close. I think it's got a glare on it. That's cute. So let's get that up. We'll put that there. We'll see if we can find another one of those. There should be two in here. And there it is. I have my sticker book off to the side because I only have so much room. And let me see, how about here in this empty spot, then those two will match each other. Okay, I like that. I still feel like this needs something over the top of it and I feel like this is a little empty, but it doesn't look bad. I still have a butterfly that we can put on. I had a very hard time figuring out what I wanted to do so I have some things placed I hope you like it let's go ahead and stick them down together um, I decided that I was going to just put some bramble fox heart perspectives in the middle of my sequin shaker I am going to put glossy accents on them and then I'm going to stop touching them and I'm going to let that dry overnight so it adheres really nice and then I thought what we would do is go ahead and put sequins down and instead of enamel dots so I will just take this glossy accents and go ahead and stick those down like this I cannot find my gem picker right now because it's not where it's supposed to be and my craft room is a mess. So that's pretty much all I do. Okay loves, we are all done. Let's do some close-ups and I'll show you what I did. I did film a little bit of the splatters and stuff but it didn't come out for some reason, not sure why. So I did end up going back in and just putting two thin paper strips at one at the top and one at the bottom 
let me know what you think about that. I think it just added a little something to it. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you liked it with it or without it. And okay, so border strips here. And this is a four by 12 sheet of paper if you wanna make this. Some plain white card stock. Here's my little shaker. And I did go ahead and adhere two Bramble Fox hearts on right on top of the shaker. And I put those down with glossy accents so they would stick. Little flower here. I used sequins as enamel knots, which I think looks super pretty on this layout. And here's this awesome cut file on this side. Butterflies, this awesome photo. I love this photo. You can see that the sun shines like on top of her head so it looks foggy, but it's just the sun, which is so pretty. Some Bramble Fox over here, sequins tag butterfly another awesome cut file with those great gems in the middle adhesive breads i think that makes it look super pretty i like it a lot so there you go you guys i hope you like this there's close-ups at the end and if you like this cut file i will link the confessions of a paper edit cut file shop below so you can go grab it for yourself and also, I am going to link our Facebook group so you can come over and join us, share your work, look at other people's work. It's super fun. Virginia gives away a free cut file every month, so come on over and join us, okay? If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I am happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for stopping by to see me. Have a good day.